Hello everybody, my name is Anson, and welcome back to Let's Play, you know, uh, Civilization Beyond Earth. I, I'm sorry that every single time I start an episode it goes to the city screen, but the, the key I have the record button mapped to happens to be the key that opens up that menu, so kind of sucks. But uh, last time, if you, if you haven't seen the last episode, we are attacking uh, Brazil up here. Brazilia. Did we call it over right here? Yeah, I don't want to get involved in more wars. I'm already involved in one war. And I've already lost probably too many men, so... I'm actually also getting attacked by jets. I don't know if there's any unit that will help us against the jets. I don't think there's any, like, anti-aircraft units. I mean, we did do a bit of damage to the, the uh, attack jet. I can't tell how much we did. But, I mean, you know, we did do some. So that's good. Also, the city has, like, no production. I have no idea why. I don't know where all the production went. But it went somewhere, so... It takes way too long for the city to absolutely... To anything it just takes too long having more workers would also be would be good but at the same time we already have like all our tiles set once we get like a lot more cities it'll make more sense to get more workers but until then i don't think it is so until then we're just going to build more more uh ground units i'd probably have way too many rangers as well so building more marines i think would make more sense why would, okay game why would you just focus this tile instead of this tile which is it's superior, it's way better in like every single way. This collar rover, you know, you can heal. And I did say I kind of wanted to spend some time guard my own borders. I don't want my I don't want my rangers way up in the front lines. So I don't know why I even ran this guy forward because I, you know, plus five percent production. Yeah, no, we're just gonna go plus one base production. I think it's probably a little bit better, but I. Don't want my ranged units. I mean, this ranged unit is probably gonna die. This, this oh, he's actually gonna go that way. Actually, what I should be doing is looking at what technology gets me the um. We should be actually getting competing right now. I because this will get us artillery, and having artillery would be, you know, very nice. Um, let me see. Are they, they are they still only on one? Yeah, they're still only on one purity. Quest decision, one health, or more science, you don't get more science. I think more health is probably actually better, but I, I'm just going to go with the science. So six turns until we can actually get our rockets here. We do have worker, worker yeah, okay, he's still healing. So actually I'm going to, I'm going to spend some money. I'm going to buy these tiles. And over here, I'm going to be, uh, I can't buy tiles because it's this puppet. Okay, eventually we're gonna buy tiles there. We're gonna annex this guy and eventually buy tiles. All of all these tiles we're gonna eventually buy. And once we have, you know, the health for it. We're we're at negative eighteen health. So we're not in the in the best spot, you could say, but I'm actually gonna kill these uh, shoot these guys with our rangers before attacking our infantry. Then I'll save them a little bit of health and we'll also get my uh, guys right here some experience. So this is actually putting our, our marine very, very forward. Probably way too close to the enemy. This guy might actually die. I kind of doubt it, but, you know, the possibility is always there. I guess we're going to put this guy in the forest. And this Marine's almost full, uh, fully healed. Four turns for this. Nine turns. Nine turns to get this rover. I don't know why the production is so bad. Oh, I know why. It's because, um, I had a trade route going from this city to this city, getting, to giving that city more production. And I kind of stopped that. So, I, I know exactly why. Yeah, this, this Marine's dead. Oh, he might not be. Actually, this guy's probably gonna finish the job. Yeah, there he goes. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. He's got a lot of combat rovers, but that took a lot of firepower. It's like a one infantry, so. Okay, as soon as we get these, uh, this missile rover. up here we'll advance some more take some pod shots at this combat rover but the thing is i don't really want to actually i'm gonna put my combat rover here and heal him just so um this guy can't just attack my just can't attack my rangers you know as easily i don't think any of the rangers are in any danger right now they might be in some danger just of getting attacked by air units but air units aren't that big of a concern also i don't have the technology to get that did you build the farm here did, even though it doesn't really look like it, or some really garbage-looking farm, I should say. 
I do got another combo rover coming in from the south. Either means order, so I can't get float stone because I don't have the tech. Actually, I'm going to send you all the way up north. Why can't I put a guy here? Oh, because there's a trade unit there, I think. I'm going to send you all the way up north and I because I want to build a road for connecting these two cities. It'll get some more money. We're making 16 right now, which is fine. War between the ARC and I think that's the African Union. That doesn't sound like a Slavic name. And I'm pretty sure the Slavic guy is general something or other. Yeah, yeah, let's work together. Awesome. I, a lot of people don't really like me right now. You know, we've got a lot of neutrals. We destroy a station you're trading with. They believe we are warmongers. Does everyone just believe we are warmongers? Everyone dislikes warmongers. They believe. Okay, so they they are fine. I think with our warmongering. They hate. Okay. Okay, I see how I see how the global politics are working out. People aren't too happy about my militaristic expansion. I mean, I'm not surprised. But it's not my fault that Brazil went a little bit too close. It's like um, like the story of Icarus. You just don't fly too close to the sun. Or, or in this case, fly, build cities too close to the French and Spanish, I guess. But how are we actually going to effectively attack Stelia? I don't really know. We need more. We need more melee units for one. Like that's that's a given. We just have way more production here than we need. So, or way more population. I mean, it's always good to have more population, but our health is taking taking a bit of a nosedive. My fifty percent growth in city is fine. Someone built the astrogenesis pod. That's that's nice. Good on them. Man, we're still making 17 energy, our military overview, we're still fine. I think we actually we're spending less points now than we were before. That's probably not a good thing if I had to take a guess, but, you know, I don't know. We could actually start doing some uh, raiding here. You know, I'll just go over here, you know, pillage. You know, they don't have that. But I don't know how much that really helps me. They'll, they'll probably just... They might actually be able to kill this unit here. And actually... If we kind of set up like a small little trap, if they kill this unit, a unit has to go in that position. Assuming, let's say, air unit, you know, rover, rover, then there's just going to be a rover here that we can easily just attack, so. I'm going to have you heal. I'm going to have you go here, because I don't think you're going to be in any real danger. Have a marine here. Fortify. You're going to fortify. And I do want to get that. I still want to get level 2 purity. I do want the upgraded rangers. I think they upgrade to... I can just look up the upgraded okay, units tab. You didn't even offer me anything. You should probably offer me peace if you're gonna do that. But you look at the ranger, it'll upgrade to like a gunner, I think. I can't see because. Okay, there's still combat rovers. That's a lot of combat rovers. Oh, actually, they didn't kill them. They're gonna try to kill them, but if they don't kill them this turn, they're gonna kill them next turn. So. Okay, we have developed our culture some more. Plus, five energy in the capital seems nice. Fifteen percent. I can get more gold. I'm gonna. See, I'm gonna get this one. I think it'll help out our economy a little bit more than just. Um, so we have one percent of stockpile energy. So one percent of four hundred and twenty is four point two. So we can extra four energy by taking that. So the more money we save, the more money we make, and then we spend money, and then. Then we lose money per gold or per turn. So I think we actually I'm gonna try it. I've never gotten it. And that should go up to like 29. I don't want the 28. Hmm. Apparently I don't know what 1% of 420 is because I swear it should have gone up to 29. But it might have um, had something to do with decimal points. Decimal points are kind of weird. Send more troops up. What did it say here? I said I said I wanted us to do something. Okay, yeah, you just build the road. We can't really do a lot with the rangers, actually. We can do, we can attack you. You probably can't shoot over the past mountains, can you? No. So this guy's actually, they're actually a lot worse than I thought they would be. So I kind of just want to, can I get my marines up here? I can. So, oh, that's going to be in a risky spot, but. Yeah, we can't do anything with you either, so. You guys just go on the defensive. You're going to just 
go to defensive, and you are going to forward. Actually, we can attack one of these units. And by making our rover weak enough, we basically are definitely going to take all the aggro on one of them. So, if we attack you, and then attack you, you won't die. Neither of you die, but because our combo rovers will be super weak, they should take all the enemy fire. Because the a Cause I'm pretty sure the AI wants to kill units. You know, they, they want units dead. So, we're actually number one, surprisingly. I'm actually surprised we're number one. How are we number one? In terms of score. A lot of population, wonders, technology, virtues. Yeah, and the, exactly what's, what's going on. They're shooting all our units. This guy might either retreat... Or he might, oh, that was actually a lot of damage against our, um... Oh, this guy might actually just take out our marines, which sucks. Oh, no, they are retreating. Okay. And, what? Well, yeah, we should be able to easily take out this rover. I think four... I don't think so, actually. Four attacks probably isn't enough to actually take out the ranger. Or take out the rover. So, actually, actually, we, we're losing probably too many men here. Okay, does anybody else get bonuses? Only one person got veteran Z. Actually, two people got veteran Z. Congrats, guys. We'll take four shots here. It'll almost kill this guy, and we'll just finish off the job here. And once again, it'll just make sure this combat rover probably gets killed by this guy. And now we're actually going to retreat our infantry back, because we don't need them there. Especially since I don't want them to die. They'll die next turn if I don't move them. And next turn, we should start building some. Should start building some missile rovers, because those will be super useful in terms of taking out this guy. That actually didn't. Wow. Do I want to retreat the combat rover, or do I want him to take the aggro? I don't. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know which. What's the better move? Actually, they don't have a jet anymore. Where's our jet go? They might have moved it. Post updated? Okay, well, that's cool. I don't care. Don't show complete quest. Go away. And now, okay, let's go back up to Alien Genetics. So that's what we were getting before, and I do want that uh, level 2. Okay, now, now we can actually look at this. Combat Rover, go to Ranger. They can turn it to a gunner that's plus 6 strength. So that's like an extra 50% strength on their attack. Plus, uh, well, that 31 defending against range kind of sucks, but, you know, plus 5 healing would also be nice on them. No, I'm sorry, Rover, you're probably going to die, because I'm just going to let you die. Just, okay, so this guy's got that. I don't know why it wants to focus on this tile so much. Let's make sure all our cities are doing what it wants them to do. Yeah, it's probably the only tile you can actually work on, isn't it? How about you? I need, I need to get that city more production. Like, that just, that needs to happen. And, you know, you, how much health do you have? You have six. Yeah, we can build a farm here, and then we have you heal afterwards. You retreat into our own territory, you're gonna heal, you're just gonna... Can't stay where you are, to be honest. Everybody else is kinda do nothing. And then, as soon as these units are built, we'll build, uh, rockets in them. And then we will... We will 100% focus on taking down the capital. 31 strength. Ah, uh, see that? Did some damage. How much damage did we actually do to him? 41 damage was actually not insignificant. These people are a little are happy that we're trading with them, which is nice. And... Three shots. Well, no, two... Yeah, three shots. Might be enough to take it out. I mean, hopefully it is. I think even two would actually be able to do the job. Like, you might even let, not let us actually. Yeah, he's dead that turn. Everyone else just do nothing. Trade vessel. What do I want you to do? Nine, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna go here. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's better for us slightly. We're slightly uh, lagging behind um, this guy over here, but it's fine. And we're gonna end it. There's still no plane here. And I do want to kind of get us round, so... Hmm. Pieces going on over here. They're happy that we're trading with them. Two more turns, we'll have more troops. Combat rover. I have no combat rovers. 
Power Rovers are, you know, really good for taking the, um, the aggro. Like, really, really good at taking it. Which probably isn't, I, I mean, if you're a combat rover driver, you're probably not too happy to hear that, but... So where do we need to put our... So we need one, two, three, four... To have four shots. So we can move up... A little bit. One problem I do have here, I am probably putting my ranger at a little bit risk. He might die next turn. No, so he wouldn't be surprised by it. You just kind of hang out there. Next turn. Please don't actually completely destroy my ranger unit. They probably will. Oh, they're going to attack one of them. Oh, that's actually... Well, they, they sent a jet. I thought they didn't have a jet. Yeah, there they go. They're all dead. You just really don't want to get your rangers on the front lines. Like, it's so bad. But three shots and a marine should, I think, kill it. But I might be 100% wrong on that. We'll find out, you know, eventually. Okay, so ranger. One, two, and three. And then a marine. Will you? They will, should be able to kill it, I think. This is over four turns. Probably like 100 turns, 12 turns. Awesome. Marine attack. And you're still healing. Okay, I did kill it, thankfully. I thought I thought I wasn't going to for a second. And this Marine is done down here, so you're just going to kind of move up. Can you not move forward? Oh, you can't move more. Oh, we had a Common Rover over here. That makes sense, actually, because we just built him there. Yeah, I mean, it does make sense to build a road here. You're right, game. So the city's already size 4, size 12, size 3, and you're, still, you're size 10. Yeah, I'm going to need more workers. That's If I take over, you know, Brazil, I'm definitely going to need more workers. So... Yeah, okay, I don't, no, I don't want to attack, um... I think not the ARC, I think the ARC is the one with the, uh... The CEO. And this guy, this, this guy's probably in a bit of risk. Bit of a risk spot. Our collar rover, we're gonna actually send a lot of troops forward just to kind of, once again, draw out the aggro. So what do we need? We need a troop here. Oh, look at that. There's like no units anywhere around us, so. By putting so many troops on this, they can only shoot at two. Well, they can, they can shoot at two. I think they actually shoot at three, because they're... Oh, they actually have two jets in here now. Hmm, that kind of really sucks. You're actually going to heal. You're going you're gonna to heal. You can't heal in there. Okay, we'll just have you wait a turn. They can actually take out four... Shoot four guys at once. I don't think... Is this a mountain? It's a hill. Oh, they're probably going to kill my, uh, my marine right here, aren't they? And then probably the... Uh, Yep, there comes the last shot. And he is 100% dead. Probably should be actually waiting for, um... Yeah, we probably just want to fall back. Wait until the, uh... The missile rovers are done. And then come back. And we're going to need a lot more melee units. We only have three. And those three aren't really even close to where we need them to have. Where we need them, so... You know, fall back. Make sure nobody's in range. You're just going to be here. But I do think I actually am going to be ending the episode here. So thanks everyone for watching. My name is Anthony. If you have enjoyed, remember the thumbs up. If you're not enjoyed, you can always thumb down. If you want to see more, subscribe. And goodbye.